Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com for November 16, 2007. Well, options expiration has come and gone. The market is now closed on a Friday after an interesting week to say the least. And looking back on the week, it's uh, not much to say about it except, uh, wow. You know, the last couple weeks in this market have been very interesting and very volatile. We were, for some time, uh, just continually going straight up, straight up every day. A little every day, a big every, big move every day. And then we got into this pattern here lately where the market's really taken a hit. And it's come down hard. We finally rallied on Tuesday big with the NASDAQ moving up 80 points. But since then, we've kind of stayed in this middle ground. And in yesterday's video, just to summarize quickly, you guys probably heard me say, you know, there's a slight opportunity here for a small rally. And everyone is kind of was kind of looking at me like I had three heads here, or even just two heads. And I mentioned the reasons I felt that yesterday. Number one, options X, always crazy, always unexpected moves happen on options X. In addition, you also had way too many shorts in the market. Okay, we talked about the put call ratio yesterday, and I told you if it got to point uh, one point five, the number of, of of puts to calls reached one point five then you know you're gonna see a rally alright and guess where it hit today 1.5 early in the day when we were down NASDAQ was down about 20 at this point the put call ratio came out 1.5 dead on signal folks okay in addition we also talked about the holiday week next week okay the holiday week signals us that there's gonna be some light volume and as traders we understand that in light volume in a market than being hit, it's very likely that big money supports the market as large players in the market go on vacation. Uh, you have money managers going on vacation for the whole week. Uh, they take off. They leave leave the reins in, uh, of the market or trading the market in, in number two or number three position traders. And what you're going to see in that situation is basically their job is to maintain the market. And in light volume, they can do that very easily. And in general, you see a trend sideways to up in a market like that. Now, that doesn't necessarily say we're not going to have a down day next week. But with light volume, you generally say, okay, maybe we have a flat week or, or up week. And we started to see that today. So it didn't really surprise me much that we saw the late day rally today. In fact, uh, uh, I almost expected it. And those in the chat room know uh, when research in motion was down three dollars uh, three dollars below a hundred uh, down almost five six dollars during the day here trading down from about a hundred and three to or a hundred and two actually to about ninety seven I, I actually called that out and said I, w I, I, I think this is going back to a hundred today it'll close over a hundred there's no way in in this universe that m the market players here are gonna let research in motion close below a hundred and let's bring up that chart okay because now you're going to ask, well, why? Well, because that's a psychological level for a major player in this market. And you got to understand, Google, Baidu, Research in Motion, and Apple are the main leaders in this market that depend. They, the market takes the lead where to go from these stocks. Okay, You can't have major breakdowns in certain stocks if you plan on maintaining a steady market next week. It just can't happen. In addition, unless you want us to, to literally dump out hard, you can't have a close on Research in Motion below hundred dollars which is where it was during the day I called the bottom right over here we hit 9680 at 97 I said I think this closes back over a hundred sure enough it closed at 10750 today a monster rally all right in addition I looked at Google and I said Google was trading here down slightly up tick or two below the 50 moving average and I said there is no way in this universe that they will let Google close below that 50 moving average because that's a major major breakdown Okay, you're not just we're talking about the psychological aspect of this market now. We're not just talking about a stock. Google is just a stock, yes, but it's not just a stock. It's one of the main leaders in the market. It's what the market takes its lead from. If you see Google dump 20, 30, 40, 50 points, the market's going to come down hard. It's just the way it is. And if Google rallies, the market's going to rally. Uh, it's a general trend like that. And all four horsemen here, Apple, Google, Baidu, and Research in Motion, they all do that whole thing together. Okay? So again, my point being here, when the when it was trading down here, I said, nah, no way. No way they're letting this fall. Too easy. Way too easy. Way too many shorts in this market, too. And we pointed out the put-call ratio that hit 1.5 today. 
uh, a dead signal that there were way too many shorts. The shorts have to be taken out. That put call ratio has to go back to at least one, if not below one, so there's more longs on the board here. In addition, you had the VIX. The VIX was very high. The VIX needed to pull back today. And, and, it, and if we're going to set up for another move down, which I do think is coming, it can't come this easily. It's never this easy, guys. All right. When the shorts say, "Oh, it's going down," no way. It's never that easy. You know, you, you guys should know most of all. When you get in a trade, it's never. It, it it very rarely works out immediately for you. You know, sometimes they put you through a little pain. You know, you maintain a stop in that market or in that stock, and you know, as long as you maintain a stop, you let it let it do what it's going to do, and hopefully it rallies and goes your way. But sometimes, or most of the time, you're never you're going to be down a little bit at first. It's going to tick lower a little bit, make you question yourself, uh, struggle a little bit. Then it goes in your direction if you did your analysis correct. Okay, and uh, and that's what we're talking about here on Google. So long story short, just talking about the market, uh, you're basically going to see a market to where market today was trading in the range of the Nasdaq closing up uh, eighteen point seven three points, and uh, the <coughs> excuse me, Dow was up sixty seven, and the S and P was up seven points. Oil traded up a dollar sixty-seven on the day, over ninety-five here. And if you ask me, that's another perfect situation. And you guys are looking at. I'm going to put up the ES chart while we talk about oil quickly here. But you're setting up for a perfect situation here. Okay, everyone in the in the world, or it seemed like it, was betting oil was going to go over a hundred a week and a half ago to two weeks ago. We had had a monster run and. What we had said on the videos is that, guys, beware here. Options X is coming up. There are tons of call options with $100 strike price or $100 targets on them. Uh, and with everyone betting it's going there, you know it's not going there. All right. Always think contrarian in this market because that's how it's ruled. All right. The majority, the big money holders in this market, when everyone else is betting one way, they the, the only way they're going to make money is if they take the money from the rest of the majority by pushing the market in, in a different direction. So understand that. You got to really understand that 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 disparity, that that coincidence, that you know whatever you may call it there. Um, but in any case, understand now that those most of those options have expired, and you had the the media now saying last week or early this week, well, maybe oil's not going to 100. Maybe it's going to fall here. Are we topping on oil? Will oil ever see 100? When you start hearing that, ding, 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 that's probably the point to pick up oil again for a bounce, and that's exactly what we've seen. So let's take a look at the USO here, and you see it was hovering right here on the 20 moving average. Great support there, and now it's bounced back off. Now it doesn't say I'm not saying that oil is going to go to 100 next week. I'm not even saying that it will next week, but or the following week or, or in two months or whatever. But what we are saying here is that you follow the trends and go the opposite of the majority, and chances are you're going to play the market in the general right with the right direction. Okay, all right, folks. Uh, let's look at the uh, ES futures here and just go over the charting intraday. And again, we saw a very whippy market here, and I'm going to go to my trend tools and just show you a couple patterns here. All right, we we sold off here hard. One came down, made a bottom, we rallied. Then we formed an M pattern here, and you can look at it two ways. Number one, you have the M here, a sloppy M to say the least. Then you have it here. Then we started to rally here, which could be looked at as the A pattern, and then the down move. All right, so you have the M, down, the A pattern, a move down, and note what this is here on the chart. Double bottom, this was called out by us in the chat room, of course. Uh, that we had reached the double bottom. We didn't break the bo double bottom and close below this line uh, down here, which would have been a breakdown if we had closed the candle. Not if we had dipped there, but if we had closed the 10-minute candle below there. Uh, we did not, and then it caused a little rally. And you can actually look at this as a possible W pattern. Okay, and I'm just going to point this out again. Let me erase this so it actually can be seen a little clearer. All right, um, going right here, you have a down move for a W, an up, down and up, and then possible little V formation starting there, but who knows how that'll react now. Um, on the side note here, volume was okay today. We did 2.1 million contracts on the ES futures today, which is decent to say the least. And looking back over the daily chart here, just to point out a few things here, uh, we ha we did sell off hard here and we came down. It looked like we were going to do a little double bottom here, but now we bounced today a little bit. So we're going to kind of monitor this situation. A double bottom would be in somewhere in this general range. Again, a close below, we'd look for a low move lower. Uh, but in this range, we're kind of in between here, and that's going to depend on what we're going to do next week on light volume with the holiday week. Uh, I believe Wednesday it's a full day of trading. Thursday closed. Friday half day. I think the market closes at one o'clock uh, on Friday. So it'll be a very light next week, and it should be interesting. Let's quickly pick, bring up the NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ daily, and you can see almost a better double bottom area here. Uh, you can see almost what you have here. You had a bounce up and now a retest down here. This was today, and a bounce. And so far, we're holding above this uh, 
200 moving average. Now this has been quite a fall in the NASDAQ and we keep pointing out this M pattern here. All right. And could this be the A pattern? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll know next week. We'll know as it develops, but it's a possibility here. But the A pattern then tells us that we break this low and go lower. So until we actually break this double bottom plus the 200, I'm, I, you know, you, you just really can't step out on a limb and say, yes, we are going to do that because you could get caught off, off guard here when we rally back up. So I, I advise strong caution here. And again, always consult your financial advisor. I say this every video, but it's important to keep in mind is that these are just for entertainment purposes, these videos, nothing more, and they should not be looked at as advice in any, any sense, way or form. All right, always consult that financial advisor. They know much better. All right, folks. So any, in any case, uh, some very interesting pattern formations going on here. Also, keep a note here. You have the stochastics on the lower end, though they can go a little lower. But at some point, you know, they're going to bottom out, whether or not they get a bounce up next week. If we do a sideways to up move next week on light volume, it's very possible these stochastics come up here, and it's giving way for another hard fall in the market. All right. And again, it's just all about paying attention to moving averages, supports, and resistances. You know,